Hi guys, welcome back and welcome to my empty house tour. I am recording this little intro at a later date because I just totally forgot to do one. Um, so I have already filmed my empty house tour. I literally filmed it the day after we moved in. So we spent all day packing and moving the previous day and we got in at like 11 p.m. It was so crazy. So we pretty much just dumped all the boxes and then went to sleep. And so what you're seeing is kind of the aftermath. So the boxes are everywhere and it's pretty empty. To be honest, it's not that much more full now. Um, we're, I think, like 10 days in, um, but it's just taking ages of furniture. So you will see our kind of living arrangement. Some areas we have kind of moved around a little bit, and I might actually do like an update, or maybe I'll just do like vlogs along the way showing our progress. Um, but yeah, it is kind of pretty much the bare bones, but I know a lot of you wanted to see the house anyway. So I hope you guys enjoy this, and I will cut away to the tour now. Okay, so this is the hallway and you have a few different doors leading off from the hallway. As you can see, there is a lot of mess. It was so late last night, so everything was just dumped here, but that is going to be our job today. So apologies for the current state of things. The first door this way is for a little downstairs toilet. I'm not going to turn the lights on just because it turns on the extract fan, it gets really noisy. Um, but you have this really cute tile on the floor, which I love. Little sink, towel rail, toilet and a window, which we need to get blinds for because they did not put anything there. So yeah, that's a bit strange. And then you have four more doors actually in this area. So this door, which I don't think I'm gonna be able to access, is just a little storage cupboard, so it's just completely empty. But then if you span around, this door on the right here is actually a front living room, which again is full of our stuff, so you're not really gonna be able to see it, but it's just an empty room otherwise. So it does have a nice little bay window, and it will hopefully be a nice space eventually, but at the moment, a little bit messy. So once I step down then to my left, we do have a utility room, which I've never had before. So I'm so excited about this. I'm thinking about putting a little runner here and you also have a door to the outside. So really useful if you do have a dog and you have all these beautiful cupboards. This is like nicer than any kitchen I've ever had, so I'm so excited about it. I love the taps, just so, so pretty. And I go all the way along. And to have this much storage is just such an incredible luxury. Anyone who lives in a city will know that storage space and cupboard space is always a rare, rare thing, so this is just like, the most exciting thing ever to me. And then directly opposite that, you have a cloak room or a boot room. Again, useful if you do have some muddy shoes on. And so you have all these great units here. Currently, they're just a lot of my handbags because we didn't know where else to put them. But yeah, lots of great storage. And then I don't actually know whose ladder that is, so <laughs> gonna have to follow up about that. Um, but you have these great cupboards right here as well, where you can hang things. I have no idea what we're going to use these for, but I'm sure we'll find a use currently. They just have more of my handbags. And through here is the main living area. So you have the patio doors, which go onto the outside. We currently have the sofa on at the top level. We're not sure if it's gonna stay like that. I think we're gonna play around, um, but for now we just popped it there. And we have a little fireplace. And then downstairs is where I think we're gonna put the dining table. Again, TBC, the dining table is getting delivered today, but our dining chairs aren't getting delivered for like another nine weeks, so. We're not going to be able to use it, but nonetheless, it'll be good to have another table. Every night I'm going on the grid, texting back. I want you, hit you up. I'm on the other side. 
outside. I miss you. This is our kitchen and a whole lot of boxes as well. I am so excited about this kitchen. It is so, so beautiful. We have an island as well. I've never had an island before. I've always wanted one, so super, super excited about that. I am like crazy terrified to use this kitchen though. It is far too nice for me to ruin. So I'm just going to be kind of tiptoeing around for the first couple of weeks. Got two beautiful orchids, some housewarming gifts, and a pizza box because it was late last night. And over on the other side, we have our fridge, a wine fridge, and then a freezer. We have our ovens. It's a little bit cold outside, so I'm not really gonna go outside. I don't have any shoes on either, but hopefully when it's nice weather next year, we'll be able to make good use of the patio. So just headed up these stairs. This is the middle floor. There are three floors in total and there are four rooms and a kind of smaller study room on this floor. The first room on the right is this one. We have this pretty wallpaper on one side and then this is the window looking out onto the road and then spanning around and you have a Jack and Jill bathroom if that's what it's called. So it goes on to the other side as well. And this is the shower bath. And then on the other side, you have the mirror and sink. We just have toilet rolls and all the sinks at the moment because we don't have any toilet roll holders. So we're going to have to get that. And then going through to the other side is another bedroom. A nice little window looking out onto the garden. And this one's just a nice little kind of square room. So we have this room next, there's the boiler room behind the closed door and then a little study to the left. Heading into this room, this one's nice and bright because it does have two windows. It's kind of weird doing a tour of just empty rooms but it is what it is. And uh, this one has an accent wall and this nice kind of gold wallpaper. And this one has an ensuite as well, but the weird thing is they didn't put a door in, which I'm not really sure why, so I think we're gonna get a carpenter to install a door there. There's the toilet, a nice window, and then mirror, window, sink with the standard toilet roll on there. And then you have the shower right there. And there's quite a lot of storage space in the corner there, so I think we'll build some units or something in that corner to make use of the space. And then back out we go. So the boiler room I mentioned, and then this is a study. I mean, you could possibly put a single bed in here. Um, I don't think we will, so I think we are just gonna use a study. You have this cool feature wall with the map. And then you have a nice big bright window as well. That is the study and then the last room on this floor is this one right here. And they all actually have different accent wallpapers, which I don't really think I noticed before. It has like a, a kind of pearly gray one. And then we have another bathroom, again with no door. Strange decisions. But all the bathrooms are nice and light, which is so great. And mirror, sink. Same area for storage. I think we're gonna try and utilize that as well. And then the shower. So in terms of my closet, I think it's going to be in this room right here. I haven't really figured it all out yet, um, but I'm leaning towards this room. It's a bit trickier here just because for a closet, you need a lot of wall space. And because there are so many windows and doors, you don't have as much wall space in these rooms. Um, but this is the room that I'm currently leaning towards. 
And then heading upstairs, upstairs is the master bedroom. Um, so it's just kind of one floor for the entire room. And here is the master bedroom. You're going to have to excuse our setup because we don't have a bed. Um, John Lewis were supposed to deliver a bed, but they're delayed and they don't know when. So currently we just have a mattress and we were so tired last night that we had the mattress protect like the plastic and we just kind of cut it open, plopped it down and just fell fast asleep. So it's not the cutest setup, but hopefully we'll get sorted sooner rather than later but this is it so you have this great window looking out and then you have a pretty wide open space we're not fully sure what we're gonna do with this we're thinking maybe building wardrobes all along it is a sloped roof but hoping like a carpenter can make do and do something do something clever with the space so going around there is the master bathroom or the ensuite to the master bedroom and again it's a bit of a mess i'm sorry but it was super late last night so we just have um some products that we put in plastic bags there to stop them from leaking all over our stuff and then you have a bath it's super bright outside now but we have a long shower here which i am so excited to try i love this wall at the end it has like a pearly finish to it so it sparkles a little bit i think it's so so pretty Again, I'm not really a bath girl, but I could be tempted by that one. We have two windows there. And Dan's ensuite in the last place is like the tiniest thing. So this is just such an insane luxury. So yeah, that kind of completes our empty house tour. So that is it for this tour. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions and let me know if you have any requests as well. I don't know how much home content you wanna see because obviously that's not really what my channel is about. So if you do have any particular video requests, leave them for me in the comment section below. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye.